welcome back. Uh, we are now uh, discussing on this scanning tunneling microscope, different parts of the scanning tunneling microscope. Uh, in today's lecture, we, I will discuss on the uh, tip sample position control, vibration isolation and electronics in the scanning tunneling microscope. What is very important uh, in STM is to control the distance between the tip and sample very precisely in the range of uh, angstrom. So, therefore, the spring cantilever reducers are most commonly used in the microscope where the moments uh, between the tip and sample is reduced by considering the two elastic elements uh, connected in the series. As you see here, uh, we have uh, cantilever here, uh, we have a SPM a piezoelectric scanner here, we have tip here and this is a rigid base of the microscope, rigid base. We have here a elastic beam, a cantilever and we have a spring here and by choosing the right uh, spring constant values, we can precisely control the distance between tip and sample. Uh, particularly uh, in this cases at a greater k value where this is a small k. the capital K or the spring constant or elastic constants of the cantilever should be much higher than the spring constant of the spring or elastic constant of the spring. We know uh, from equilibrium condition from the from the equilibrium condition we know F elastic is equal to K del L Hooke's law which is equal to capital K L sorry capital K del L capital del L. So, where uh, del L is the displacement of the uh, spring and capital del L is the displacement of the cantilever. So, in this case the uh, reducing coefficient, the reducing coefficient is equal to reducing R is equal to small del L by del capital L is equal to k divided by small k. So, here as you will see uh, if we want to reduce del L. Uh, the moments of the cantilever at to which our scanner and tips are connected in order to reduce this del L we have to have a larger uh, larger capital K value or larger spring constants of the cantilever. So, by choosing uh, the right kind of the elastic constant or spring constant we would able to control the uh, position of the tip sample by precisely uh, moving the cantilever position to which the piezoelectric scanner and tip are tip is uh, attached. So, this is one of the important uh, re, uh, way uh, to control the tip sample position in scanning tunneling microscope. Another important aspects, another important express uh, uh, important point is the vibration isolation in the STM. Uh, in the STM we want data with a accuracy of 0 0.1 angstrom. Uh, with an accuracy of uh, 0.1 angstrom if we want uh, the data then the vibration should be at least 10 times lower. Here vibration means vibration from outside that means from the ground and air where the microscope is placed and second is to remove the vibration of the microscope itself. If, if, if we want the data uh, if we want 
uh, the accuracy of data with a scale of 0.1 angstrom, then vibration should be 10 times lower. So, vibration should be 10 times lower means it is supposed to be in the around uh, the level of uh, like 10 pico ampere, pico, pico, uh, 10 picometer, vibration should be vibration should be less than 10 picometer scale. This is the data we need in STA. Normally, our building vibration is around the amplitude of the building vibration is around uh, 0 0.1 micrometer. amplitude. If we want to have a vibration of this level of the system, then we need to reduce this building vibration like 100,000 times. So, it is not that easy tax. So, but uh, it has to be done to get the data of this scale. So, how it is done? First is we have to remove the, um, I, um, we have to isolate the system from outside vibration, first we will discuss on that how it can be done. Vibration isolation from outside and it can be done by spring suspension. Here you can see a spring suspension is uh, done in the right side diagram. Here omega naught, here omega naught is the, uh, is the omega naught is the oscill uh, oscillation frequency of the spring oscillation frequency of the spring and we have external um, um, oscillation that we can write uh, omega ext which is uh, external oscillation frequency. So, now uh, uh, we have another factor uh, this is called damping factor gamma and q is the quality factor is the quality factor and q uh, q quality factor of the spring is nothing but uh, omega naught divided by uh, gamma that is damping factor. Now, if if the oxidative frequency omega x a e x t omega e x t is less than the oscillation frequency of the spring system w g, then the outside excitation the outside excitation or outside oscillation will be transmitted with a transfer, transfer function with a transfer function transfer function is written as a kappa one without damping without damping if this is less than uh, omega 0 which is the spring and if if omega e x t is equal to or close to omega naught that means their vibration frequency are similar or same then resonance will occur resonance occurs and the um, amplitude will increase. So, the so the outside excitation outside excitation is amplified amplified that means vibration increased instead of being dumped, but if and this is the condition if the uh, W e x t or uh, not sorry omega e x t is much greater than omega naught then the transfer function transfer function kappa kappa omega external will be close to omega naught omega external to the power square 
So, this will be like this. Here in the left side we see the transfer function of the spring suspension system for different values of the uh, quality factor. If we, uh, if we see this one like omega e x t less than omega 0 then transfer function is almost 1 without damping. And here is the resonance occur when omega external is just equal to omega naught and then when omega ex uh, external is greater than omega naught that means outside oscillation frequency is greater than the frequency oscillation frequency of the spring then we say trans we are finding transfer function less having a transfer function less is good because less oscillation will be transmitted from the outside system to the uh, to the to, to our system so we would like to have a smaller transfer function that means smaller transfer function means oscillation will not be transmitted or will be transmitted as less as possible to the system. So, this is what the cases when uh, oscillation frequency either equal to or less than or greater than the uh, oscillation frequency of the spring. So, from this formula what we see that an higher external oscillation frequency or a lower uh, spring uh, oscillation frequency of the spring is prepared for the system. So, how we can achieve this? So, the best vibration isolation um, that is let us say from the building isolation can be achieved with a smaller omega naught or larger omega e x t. So, this depends this depends on the displacement length of the spring. We know uh, we know as per the Hooke's law uh, f is equal to we know force into acceleration which is equal to k uh, del n we know this and we know the equation of natural equation of natural frequency of a system f 0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over of k by m. So, if we uh, place the value of uh, m here that is mass we can get 2 pi root over of g by del l this del l f 0 bringing the m value here. Now, what we see that if del l, del l is increased the displacement of the spring is more then we have smaller frequency that means smaller omega 0 that means smaller omega 0 which is preferred for us. So, the, for example, if we want to have let us say uh, if, uh, if the natural frequency of the spring is 1 hertz if it is 1 hertz then the del l can be stretched del l can be stretched to 25 centimeter. If, if it we want to have a 0.5 hertz then del l should be like 1 meter. So, 1 meter is quite big. So, therefore, only spring suspension system is not sufficient enough to reduce the omega 0 value to a small value omega not that is spring suspension system to a small value. So, it is not uh, enough one point that to be noted now. This is about the outside vibration then if we talk about the uh, microscope as a vibrating system uh, then the mechanical loop of the microscope can also be considered as a vibrating system, vi vibration system or vibrating system uh, with the resonance frequency here we say system for our STM uh, omega STM and damping constant gamma STM and quality factor uh, QSTM is equal to uh, omega STM by gamma STM. So, in this case if we look at uh, uh, if, we, if we find the transfer uh, function the transfer function of the STM can be found the transfer function of a STM is related to the external 
external oscillation frequency with relation as as k s t m is equal to omega e x t divided by omega s t m to the power square. This is the this is what that related and this is what the if we look at this transfer uh, um, function and here it is a resonance occurs that is why it is going up. So, here you see uh, this is uh, what in the our uh, spring uh, oscillation frequency on which we have another oscillation systems this is for STM where the uh, cantilever and tip are attached. So, these two have taken into consideration. Now, we will see now we have seen here the transfer function of the STM can be small when W on sorry omega STM is greater and omega EXT is smaller. In order to have smaller kappa STM or transfer function we must have a omega STM oscillation frequency larger omega STM. So, then these two now has to combine previously we had uh, natural uh, oscillation frequency relation. Now, if we consider this we, we have to combine the vibrational isolation uh, from outside vibration isolation and also STM with high resonance frequency. So, the transport function of the combined system that is uh, the spring suspension and the system uh, system cases system cases that is can be obtained as uh, we can write the transfer function of the combined system system uh, could be is the product of both product of individual system so k total that is kappa total is omega naught that is what we got omega naught omega e x t to the power square and here we have got for system omega e x t divided by omega s t m to the power square which is nothing but omega naught divided by omega s t m to the power square. So, now we, we see for a smaller uh, transfer function we need to have a higher omega s t m and smaller um, omega naught. So, so, for example, in this case if if the spring suspension system if uh, that is omega if the spring suspension system that is omega naught is hertz 1 hertz natural frequency uh, if the if the natural frequency if the natural uh, frequency of spring suspension system omega naught is uh, 1 hertz 1 hertz and for stm omega stm is let's say 1 kilohertz then transfer coefficient uh, the overall transfer function overall transfer function will be it is 1 kilohertz means overall then then k total k total will be 10 to the power minus 6 10 to the power minus 6 quite a small value. If it will be 10 kilohertz it will be 10 to the minus 8. So, for effective vibration isolation that means for small uh, total trans, uh, transfer function L no low natural frequency of the spring suspension system that is omega naught 
this will be omega naught is combined with a high natural frequency of the STM that is omega STM is necessary that is nothing but a steep mechanical loop between the tip and sample. So, in order to reduce the vibration of the system or to isolate the system from outside vibration and also the system vibration it is essential to have a low natural frequency of the spring suspension and a high natural high um, frequency of the STM uh, assembly that is what we have seen here. So, STM has to be designed in a manner that both spring suspension system and uh, the STMs uh, with a high um, resonance frequency is achieved. Second point is our uh, electronics and that is current amplifier. After vibration we have to have a suitable or appropriate current amplifier. As in this cases the tip sample are very close to each other and there is a tunneling current that is a quantum tunneling between the specimen to the tip or in opposite direction and that tunneling current is very small, very small in the sense that it is in the range of 10 pico ampere to 10 nano ampere. So, such a small current should be measured precisely to get the accurate data. Normally noise, if there is a, any noise outside or if the electronics itself has a noise then we would not able to make uh, the measurements as precisely in the range of pico ampere to nano ampere. So, a suitable uh, current amplifier is used to amplify the current and then convert it to voltage. A typical circuit diagram of a current amplifier is shown here. As you see in this circuit diagram, uh, there is a important part here uh, the feedback register uh, current in. So, the uh, taking into complex uh, impedance the voltage output can be calculated using this equation. So, where voltage output is proportional to the feedback resistance and this feedback resistance R uh, Fp is also uh, inversely proportional to the bandwidth uh, R uh, is R uh, Fb is equal to 1 upon uh, uh, that is uh, pi B. So, it is normally inversely proportional to the bandwidth. So, if we uh, increase the amplification we will decrease the bandwidth uh, and uh, this is another one point. Another point is the noise, uh, noise can also play an important role here. If we increase B here B is for bandwidth, uh, if we increase the, the bandwidth, if we increase the temperature and temperature uh, increases because uh, temperature also uh, here um, for increasing the V output uh, we have to a uh, feedback register uh, value has to be high R F P is high. When R F P become high then there will be thermal electron generation temperature goes high when temperature goes high noise also goes high. So, these are uh, uh, important parameters to be considered to uh, uh, reduce the noise and while amplifying the signal or here the signal is our um, current amplify the signal. Then we have feedback controller uh, in STM uh, a suitable feedback controller is, is used to follow the surface topography. So, the in general it controls the whole electronics uh, the system output which is nothing but a tunneling current is converted to voltage by the amplifier and at a set a set point corresponds to a voltage representing a desired tunneling current. So, a particular voltage is nothing but is uh, related to the tunneling current. So, accordingly the feedback controller uh, determines the system input how much the voltage to be given to get uh, that much of current. Uh, so, that uh, we can control the tip sample distance accurately. For example, uh, like if I have a sample here, sample here and if I want to measure only 1 nano ampere of current between tip to sample, this is my sample a tip. So, now I want to measure only 1 nano ampere of the current 
Now, if the tip comes, if tips move in the x direction, then what will happen? Then it will see a much higher current as the tip is approaching close to the sample as it see higher current, but rather in my system I want to measure 1 nano ampere of current tip has to move up, tip has to move up, tip can only measure 1 nano ampere current when it is every places equal distance away from the sample, then only it will measure 1 nano ampere current. Accordingly, if I set 1 nano ampere current to be measured, my voltage to the piezoelectric scanner should be changed automatically, so that piezoelectric scanner will mop the tip upward or downwards to make or to see a current of 1 nano ampere. So, this is what it does. So, the feedback controller determines the system input voltage given to the piezo element and to change the sample uh, tip sample distance. Accordingly, the tip sample distance is changes to measure a constant current that is what we want to measure. Uh, and feedback controller is itself a very complex system which comprises digital to analog converters and also high voltage amplifier for the piezo voltage and vertically positioning the tip position. So, it overall controls the whole electronics uh, and it should be uh, highly uh, uh, that means precise. So, what uh, the conclusion of the today lecture? The natural frequency of a spring suspension system depends only on the extension length del L as we have seen this is depends on the uh, inversely proportional to del L having a higher del L of the spring suspension system we can have a low uh, natural frequency that is what we want a precise for the precise sample uh, tip sample distance it is important to minimize the amplitude difference between the tip sample and a low natural frequency that is what we discussed here of the spring suspension and a high frequency of the STM is prepared for effective vibration isolation to a scale of 10 to the minus 6 minus 8 or uh, minus 10 up to 10 of uh, small transfer, uh, transfer function value. And the current amplifiers used in STM have a large input resistance feedback resistance and the current amplifier converting the input current to output voltage depends on the feedback resistance that as you have seen is directly proportional to the feedback resistance. These are the references. Thank you.